Hey guys, another quick sim hub tip for you today. Uh, this is one that comes up way, way more often than I ever expected it would. And in my honest opinion, it's not worth the effort, but a lot of people really seem to want to do this. So I'm going to walk you through and show you how right now. I'm not going to show you the entire process because the first step of this, there are plenty of YouTube tutorials to walk you through it step by step. I will let you go and find one of those tutorials if you don't know how to do it um, but chances are if you're looking to do this you already know how to do this first step and I am talking about getting your twitch chat displayed on a USB D or a vocor display through sim hub um, I guess if you've got something like I have mounted to my direct drive motor here with my five inch grid display, or you've got a rabbit, you know, a, a GSI wheel, a Formula Pro Elite with a display in the middle or any, anything with any kind of display. Um, this question comes up a lot in the GSI discord. And I think, um, uh, somebody mentioned to me today that it's because Gomez, when he's building the wheels on stream and he steps away, he has his Twitch chat running through one of the wheels. Um, so good on you Gomez for getting a lot of people interested in this but so if you want to do this um, let me show you how to do it real quick so let's go ahead and get over to my main monitor here and I am already logged in to stream elements and I have already created a chat box overlay now they used to call these widgets in stream elements um they might call uh, it, it looks like they changed the name i haven't been i haven't done anything for my twitch channel in forever I'm, i i never use it i mean maybe i will one day but i i don't know um might do maybe maybe one day i will do a live sim hub thing on twitch let me know if you want me to do that in the comments below um i'll set up a time i think that would work for a lot of people and uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. But so I have created a chat box overlay in stream elements. So now what I wanna do is I wanna click these th little three dots here and I wanna click copy URL. So now I now have the URL for my Twitch chat box that I have created in stream elements. Now, normally I would use that URL as a browser source in OBS so that I could have it overlaid uh, on, a, on the stream or if I'm recording a video for YouTube via Twitch, um, that's how I would do it. Um, you know, I don't know why I'm, I'm rambling here now, but anyway, so yeah, so create your widget in stream elements, lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. Once you've got it created, click the three dots, click copy URL. That's all you need to do in stream elements. You can, you can get rid of that. So now what we want to do is we want to go into sim hub. We want to go to dash studio and we want to click dashboards. Now I am going to create a brand new dashboard specifically for this. And we're going to call this dashboard Twitch chat. I am not going to share the link to this because this is going to have the URL for my chat bot. And I don't think you need that. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make this full screen now. So hopefully you can see it a little bit better. We've got a blank dashboard right here. All we need to do very quick and easy. We need to come over to more components on the left hand side open this up and all the way down at the bottom of this menu is web page view. So we're gonna click web page view and we get this box here that's kind of floating around. We're gonna put it up in the corner. Now to make sure it's in the corner, I like to come over here and I wanna set it to zero and zero for top and left. And I know that when you create a new dashboard in SimHub 1280 by 720 is the default resolution. And I wanna make sure that my Twitch chat window on my display takes up that full display. So I've set the width and the height of this with the starting corner being the upper left in SimHub. Now what I wanna do is I wanna come down here to the bottom of this web page information. We're gonna click start address and I'm just gonna click control V to paste that URL and that's it. I'm done. So now if I were to go ahead and hit file, save, close this window and I search for my Twitch chat dash, click start, 
We'll start it on a USB D480. And now if I were to be streaming on Twitch, I would have Twitch chat right here front and center on the display that is either, you know, on my GSI wheel if I was using that or my grid DDU that is mounted to my direct drive motor. So there you go. Quick and easy for everybody who has been asking me in the GSI Discord on how to do that. That's how you do it. It is very simple. Um, I don't recommend reading Twitch chat and driving, but hey, that's entirely up to you if you want to interact more. I, I do. I, I get that part of it. Um, to me, that's the, one of the greatest things about Twitch. It's why I love watching other sim racers on Twitch because you can interact with them live and in real time. And hopefully if you are a streamer on Twitch, uh, this is something that will help you do that. So if this video did help, uh, give it a quick thumbs up so we can connect other people looking for stuff like this on YouTube because I'm just here to help. Uh, if you've got any questions about this video or anything else I have ever posted, um, just please leave a comment down below. I do my best to respond to every one of those as soon as I can. Uh, I do occasionally see a comment and then I forget to respond because I can't do it right then and there. And you know life just gets in the way sometimes but if you have left a comment and i have not uh, responded uh, i do apologize please post your question again and i will get back with you as soon as possible i do promise that i want to make sure I'm, I'm here to help everybody with sim hub and and all of their questions because your questions allow me to make more videos for this channel and hopefully help more people that's what i'm here to do so until next time, stay safe out there. Good luck racing, and uh, we'll catch you later.